I will show you on how to create monthly summary report. So, this is the report that we wanted to make. This is the month, January, February, and this is the date, 1 up to 31. Okay? And this is our transaction table. This is our query, and this is our report. Okay? Now, we will start. I will close this one. Then, I will open my exercise file. This is our exercise file. Exercise file. So this is the transaction table. I just put the three, our transaction ID, date, and quantity. And this is our data. This is the date, and this is our quantity. Quantity, or you can put amount or any data that you wanted to extract for monthly report. Okay. Next is we will create a query in order to manage our monthly summary report okay the next is we will go to create and here query design so in query design we have select query we have big table we have append update delete and now we will use the cross tab query so we will just click this one cross tab then we will drag our table here okay first is we need to select this field the date here date i will make it zoom so I will make format format for our date since this is the field we will put open bracket and close bracket then comma and this is our format in so this is to show only the number of a month okay and i will hit okay then next is the month i will select again the date and just copy this one and copy so here i will make here sorry this one is month month so our format here date in format is month so this one will show you the whole month name okay okay and here i will put the cross tab as row heading row heading the next is again I will copy this one and here I will make it zoom just to show you and this one is the day A so this is again this is our this is our date our field and this is our format so for the date we will put d so whatever the date okay and this is our heading column heading then so as i will open the our created one just to show you So this is the, the date, this is our heading, and this is a row, month. That's why if you open our criteria, it shows here, row heading, month, 
the full the full month and this one the day however we need to add some headings because as you can see here there is a heading 1 to 31 so in order to make it past our video so this day day we must add here the headings so i prepare this is our eight headings date 1 up to 31 i just copy and in here again this is a day so we need to i will make it zoom to show you and copy and hit okay so this is our coulomb headings Column headings again. Column headings. This one. One to up to thirty-one. So whatever you put there as our column heading, it will show. So this is our column heading. Then the next one is this one. The quantity. This one we need to extract the quantity as per month and as per the transaction day this one okay we we'll go to the our activity file or exercise file rather then we'll drag this one quantity here and instead of group we will put here as sum so sum of every month and date transaction. So sum, then here we'll put value. We we'll put value. Why? Because here value. This one. Whatever our entry according to the month and date. So this is the value here value and this one this is an optional so we'll just only put here i will copy i will make it zoom so we'll put here year so again our our field is date t then close bracket close parenthesis and okay so means this is our year and here we'll put where then we'll put here the criteria for year year then the date so this is the date means the current current date or current year so we'll put year here so you can also put the criteria based on your uh, form or your combo box in order to select whatever the year you need to extract for your report. So this is, I put the example for our current year. Again, I will put this, I will change this alias to year. And here also. Now we'll save this report as monthly summary year one. So query, is it okay? And now we will open. If we will open, it will give you or give you an, or extract the particular value per month and according to the date entry which is our entry here in our transaction okay next is we will create the report so uh, this is very straightforward just select this one go to create and as you can see here we have report design 
this one just select this one again make sure to select this query and click this report design report this one sorry not design this one this automatically will create for you the report as per your query here so we need to make it landscape and you can delete this one then select this one and size we will put here to fit yeah. okay so we will just copy the size here size of the report you see the the width so 0.3 the width is 0.3 so I'll just only select this one width is 0.3 and width is 0.3 And we will go here, add existence, because we have only created 14, so the other one is here, up to 31. And just drag automatically, then select size, then narrowest, so it will, it will copy the same width block. Now we have report from and also the month month weight is here okay now we have the report look we have the report then We can select also here. Sorry, we need to make it sum. So automatically, just select sum, sum, and so on. So this is the process. Then the total, I will just copy. This is our total. I just remove this one. We we'll start total. I will copy. So this is the total. Now, in order to make a total or sum up from the D1 to 31, we need to put some, some format here, okay? Again, I have a ready to make it a fast hour video because this is take time if we will make it one by one because I will put this one A, A, and G in order if, if there is a no value, so it will automatically uh, validate our error to avoid error I mean okay I will just copy this one our formula I just copy this 28 this is our look 20 this is our uh, from our query okay I just select this one and data I will make it zoom and control V to paste and I will hit okay Sorry. Okay. The error is here.
Nötig. Okay, this is our summary, this is monthly summary report, okay, as you can see here there is a green, so meaning our report is uh, not fit with our margin, so I need to remove extra space, still 12, so we need to reduce. Reach it up, size, narrow, um, this is a margin, then the size is A4, still, okay, then I will go to format, oh, arrange. arrange, I will make it none, okay, now it reduces our report width, then we can adjust it. Still showing green. We go to we need to go to margin. Size is A4 margin. Pitch it up. Here with we need to make it 11. Okay, now the, the green. Fixed to open. So this is our report. Again, we adjust. Now we have our report, monthly report. So this is it. Thank you and God bless.